Hello. May Jehovah Rapha bless you powerfully. Fasting, the power that few people know. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. If you're new here, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here, to pray and be in the presence of God together. Feel free to leave your prayer requests here in the comments. I will include them in my prayers. Fasting is a very powerful spiritual weapon. If everyone knew about it and practiced it, I can assure you that many of these people would be blessed, they would have victories in their struggles, in their wars. Fasting is a spiritual weapon that our God has given us to win the battles. Because there is the physical world, but there is also the spiritual world. And in the spiritual world, you cannot fight with physical weapons. I could show you several passages in the Bible that demonstrate the power of fasting, but I chose one passage to read and show you. I will teach you what fasting is. I will teach you how to fast. And you can be sure that when you are in a spiritual battle and you use this spiritual weapon, you will win that war, that battle. Do you believe in that? The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 14. It talks about a possessed young man. What is a possessed young man? A possessed person is someone who is under the control of evil beings. The Bible says the following, And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him and, kneeling before him, said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly. For often he falls into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. The Bible itself affirms the existence of demons. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it left the boy. It is true that evil beings enter the lives of many people. And when they enter, what the boy's father said happens, they suffer greatly. When evil beings enter a person's life, that person's life turns upside down. Look what it says in the Bible, the boy was healed after the demon left him, and from that hour the boy was cured. So the disciples approached Jesus and asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? And Jesus answered, because of your little faith. For truly I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. You see that fasting is so strong and powerful that Jesus fasted for forty days in the desert. Fasting weakens the flesh because you abstain from eating, but it strengthens the spirit. There are spiritual battles that you will not win unless you engage in fasting and prayer. When you fast, you strengthen your prayer. When you fast, you weaken the forces of spiritual evil. How did the Lord Jesus overcome the temptation of the devil? Why did he succeed? Because he was fasting. The disciples could not help that boy because they were not yet using this weapon called fasting. There is partial fasting and total fasting. Partial fasting, for example, is when a person fasts for 12 hours and drinks a little water during that time. In total fasting, a person goes 12 hours without eating or drinking anything. Fasting does not start when you stop eating, but when you engage in prayer. Let me give you an example here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and you have a purpose to fast because you feel that you are facing a battle in some area, and you want that battle to be won. So, you are going to fast for that. Now, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, you are going to pray and present your fast to God. 
Lord, it's ten o'clock in the morning, I enter into your presence to begin a fast, and you will say why you are starting that fast. I start this fast to have strength in my spiritual life, I start this fast for you to help me overcome this temptation, I start this fast for the deliverance of my child, my spouse. I start this fast for the resolution of that legal case. Then you will say, I now begin this fast, Lord, at ten o'clock in the morning, and I will only break it at ten o'clock at night, or at three o'clock in the afternoon. The time is up to you. From the moment you start the fast, you will not eat or drink anything. One very important thing, when you are fasting, you need to be in the spirit. It's no use if you are seeing a child, watching TV, or watching TV programs. At the moment you break the fast, you need to be in communion with God. When you reach the end of the fast, it's not just over, and I'm going to eat. No. You need to pray once again. At the time you said you would surrender, you will pray again, Lord, at this moment I enter into prayer to deliver my fast. I ask that the Lord receive, accept, and give me victory. So there, you opened, and you delivered. Another thing that many people do deceived is thinking that there will be victory in this, fasting is not done at night, when you go to sleep. You do it while awake. This fast doesn't require any effort or sacrifice. There are battles in your life that, in order for you to win, you need to practice fasting. Use this tool in your life, start fasting, and you will see that God will come with provision in your life. I would like you to help me evangelize the world. How many people need to see a video like this? So I would like you to share this video with the people whom God touches in your heart. Because it will clarify and help many people. Shall we pray now? Our Lord God and our Father. Dear and beloved Father. Jehovah Rapha, God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, God of provision, Jehovah Shalom, God of peace. In this moment, I want to pray for this person, Father, who accompanies me in prayer. Father, I want to ask you for strength. I just read a biblical passage, my Father, where you tell your disciples that they could not cast out that evil spirit because, my God, they were not in fasting and prayer. Because fasting and prayer, my Father, are spiritual weapons. And now, in prayer, I want to declare the Lord's blessing upon this person's life. I declare, my Father, that evil falls to the ground, I declare that every malignant being that has risen up retreats. And I declare a new time, a time of victory in this person's life. I declare your blessing, I declare your victory, I declare that everything is already fine in your life, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thanks be to God.